मुझे बहुत अफसोस कि आप लोग गांधी जी को इतनी जल्द भूल In 1969, the Mahatma Gandhi centenary year, Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan was presented the Jawaharlal Nehru Memorial Award for International Understanding. Accepting the award, he said, "Hindustan ka doos." और आप लोगों का खैर खा समझते हिंदुस्तान की आजादी की जंग में पंद्रह साल मैंने गुजारे और और मेरे साथ हजार हाँ खुदाई खिदमत गारों ने भी गुजारे हैं और अफसोस की बात यह है कि उन्नीस सौ में हिंदुस्तान के किस्मत के फैसले के वक्त हमें बेड़ियों के हवाले कर दिया खान अब्दुल गफार खान नोन एज द फ्रंटियर गांधी वॉज बोर्न इन अष्टानगर इन द विलेज ऑफ उत्मन जाय इन पेशावर डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन 1890. He was the fourth son of Bairam Khan, a rich landlord and a highly respected Khan of his village. The Pakhtuns yearned for knowledge, and most of them sent their children to madrasas at their mosques. Abdul Ghaffar was the first youth from his village to be sent to a school. After primary classes in the municipal school, he joined the Edwards Memorial Mission High School at Peshawar. Fascinated by the glamour of military service, Abdul Ghaffar sent an application to the Commander in Chief of India for a commission in the army. He was enrolled. When one day Ghaffar Khan saw a British subaltern behaving rudely towards his friend, a cavalry officer, Abdul Ghaffar felt greatly offended and resolved not to serve the British. Thus, he threw away a coveted rank in the guides. Abdul Ghaffar wanted to educate and unite his people the Pakhtuns and he succeeded to a great extent The simple Khans of Ashtanagar declared that he was their badshah the name he still carries During the agitation of the Rowlatt Act in 1919 in the Northwest Frontier Province Abdul Ghaffar Khan found himself in jail In 1920 he went to Delhi to take part in the Khilafat conference in which Mahatma Gandhi, Maulana Azad and many prominent Muslims participated. An offshoot of the Khilafat agitation was the Hijrat movement. In August 1920, 18,000 Pathans sold their lands and property and moved to Kabul. Abdul Ghaffar led a party of exiles. Soon after the Nagpur Congress session, Abdul Ghaffar established an Azad High School in his village Utmanzai. Along with constructive work, he took part in the Khilafat movement. The British authorities wanted to suppress the Khilafat movement. Abdul Ghaffar was arrested. He was released from jail in 1924. In December 1928, Abdul Ghaffar went to Calcutta to attend Congress session being held there. Gandhi ji was addressing the subjects committee meeting. When a haughty young man shouted at him calling him a coward, Gandhi ji kept his cool and continued his speech in good humor. Abdul Ghaffar was deeply influenced by this episode. In 
was formed the Khudai Khidmatkars, the servants of God, for service to the country and the community. The volunteers took a pledge to eschew violence and serve their fellow countrymen selflessly. Abdul Ghaffar and his followers went from village to village to serve their fellow men and to lead them to freedom. At the Lahore Congress of 1929, Motilal Nehru handed over charge of the Congress Presidentship to his son Jawaharlal. The Congress passed the historic resolution on Purna Swaraj, complete independence. Abdul Ghaffar Khan met Gandhiji and Jawaharlal Nehru for the first time at this session. After the Lahore Congress, the Khudai Khidmatkars swelled in number from 500 to 50,000. On March 12, 1930, Gandhiji began his famous march to Dandi on the sea to break the salt law in a symbolic launching of the non-cooperation movement. Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan asked the people of the Northwest Frontier to take part in the civil disobedience movement. He was arrested and sentenced to three years rigorous imprisonment. Angered by the arrest of their leader, the people of the Northwest Frontier launched a mass civil disobedience movement. Peaceful processions were taken out in various cities. At Peshawar, an unarmed non-violent procession was fired upon. In spite of extreme provocation, the people remained peaceful. A platoon of Garhwal rifles was asked to open fire on the peaceful yet defiant Pathans. They said, we will not shoot our unarmed brothers. Seventeen Garhwal soldiers were arrested and sentenced to life imprisonment. Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan attended the Karachi Congress with a large number of Khudai Khidmatkars. A resolution condemning the British policy in the border areas of the Northwest Frontier was moved by Jawaharlal Nehru. Supporting the resolution, Abdul Ghaffar Khan said that the British government had purposely kept the Indians in the dark about the people of the Frontier Province. He declared that the Pakhtuns had full confidence in Mahatma Gandhi and if a civil disobedience movement was launched, they would not be found wanting. Abdul Ghaffar Khan was elected leader of the Congress movement in the frontier province. He started publishing a magazine, Pakhtun, which was devoted to the cause of social reform. After the failure of the Round Table Conference in 1931, Gandhiji launched a civil disobedience movement. The British let loose their brutal repression. The frontier Gandhi wrote, The situation is critical. The ordinary Englishman in the frontier is callous and without imagination. Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan and his brother Khan Sahib were imprisoned in Hazari Bagh Central Jail where Ghaffar Khan came to know many national leaders like Dr. Rajendra Prasad. When Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan was released in August 1934, there was a ban on his entry in the Northwest Frontier Province and Punjab. He was offered the Congress Presidentship which he declined saying, I am a soldier of the Khudai Khidmatkars. I shall only render service. Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan spent his time in promoting Hindu-Muslim unity and rural development. He asked Hindus and Muslims to heed the advice of their holy books like the Quran and the Gita. He accused the government of a conspiracy to make the Hindus and Muslims fight with each other. After 100 days of freedom, Ghaffar Khan was re-arrested and sentenced to another term of imprisonment.
Jawaharlal Nehru, the Congress President, visited the Northwest Frontier. Paying tribute to Abdul Ghaffar Khan, he said that he was not only Fakhre Afghan, but he was Fakhre Hind, the pride of India. Abdul Ghaffar Khan maintained that Congress was representative of all sections of the Indian people and the Congress alone could bring liberty to all the Hindus, Muslims and Sikhs. When the Congress decided to enter the provincial legislature in 1937, its candidates won 15 of the 36 seats reserved for the Muslims in the Northwest Frontier. The ban on Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan to enter the frontier province was lifted. The Congress formed a ministry in the Northwest Frontier Province with Dr. Khan Sahib, elder brother of Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan, as the Prime Minister. The Congress ministry introduced many reforms, such as making Pashtu a compulsory medium of instruction relief to agriculturists, removal of restrictions on political parties, and so on. Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan, Badshah Khan, moved from village to village, helping in rural development. When Gandhiji visited the northwest frontier province, he was given a grand reception by the Khudai Khidmatkars. The two apostles of peace, Mahatma Gandhi and the frontier Gandhi, symbolizing the unity of the nation and the brotherhood of men, traveled to different parts of the frontier. When the war began, India was declared a belligerent by the Viceroy without consulting the Indian leaders. The Congress passed a resolution that so long as the exploitation of the people of India, Asia and African countries continued, India could not support the British war efforts. The Congress declared that nothing short of complete independence could be accepted by the people of India. The Congress Ministries resigned. In 1942, when the Japanese army was advancing onto India's eastern frontiers, the British government sent Sir Stafford Cripps to negotiate with Indian leaders and secure the participation of the Congress in the defense of India. Mahatma Gandhi Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan and other leaders held several meetings with Stafford Cripps. Cripps' proposals were found unacceptable by the Congress. After several months of deliberations about the next course of action, the All India Congress Committee met at Bombay on the 8th and 9th of August 1942 and passed a resolution asking the British to quit India. All the members of the Congress Working Committee were arrested. Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan was arrested in the Northwest Frontier. Towards the end of the war, all the Indian leaders were released and invited to meet the Viceroy Lord Wavell at Simla. The meeting was attended by all the important leaders and provincial premiers and ex-premiers. The Simla conference failed because of the uncompromising attitude of the League. <laughs> A British cabinet mission came to India to negotiate the transfer of power.
After prolonged discussions in Delhi, the venue shifted to Simla. While the Muslim League insisted on the division of India, Gandhiji, Jawaharlal Nehru, Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan, Dr. Khan Sahib, Abul Kalam Azad and other Indian leaders wanted freedom for united India. When no agreement could be found, the mission issued its own plan for the transfer of power. While these negotiations were on, communal riots broke out in Noakhali in East Bengal and various parts of Bihar. Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan joined Gandhiji to bring solace to the suffering. He said, My heart weeps to see our home set on fire by ourselves. May I remind the Muslim League that Islam is the most tolerant religion in the world. If we are to be true Muslims, we should do our utmost to spread tolerance among our brethren. Lord Mountbatten took over as the new Viceroy. His proposal that the people of India should decide their own future was accepted. Gandhiji and Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan were strongly opposed to the partition of India. But when partition became inevitable, a decision was taken to hold a referendum in the northwest frontier. The frontier Gandhi did not compromise with his principles and took no part in the referendum. The rest is history. Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan returned home on the advice of Mahatma Gandhi who told him to help make Pakistan really Pak, pure. The two titans of India's struggle for independence never met again. Gandhiji was assassinated on the 30th of January 1948. Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan said, he was the only ray of light to help us through these dark days. For several years, the frontier Gandhi was in and out of the prisons of Pakistan. For many years now, he has been living as an exile in Kabul, Afghanistan. India has not forgotten this great Gandhian, this great man of faith. मुझे बहुत अफसोस कि आप लोग गांधी जी को इतनी जल्द भूल गए आपने नुकसान किसका किया गांधी जी का नहीं अपना